Well, I know what's gonna happen with the um, with that. Yay. Um, I think eventually I um put on the peaceful break, sir. Wait, sir, excuse me. Words are not hard, I swear. I think I put on a peaceful bracer at some point. I don't think it's yet. I think I just do it enough until um I think I do it after I die. I get the game over. I don't remember. We'll see. I think I'd check around to see if I have um Um, things for uh, stone, because I honestly forgot about the uh, what you call it. Oh wait, no, I do put it on now. I think I say, you know what? Screw it. I don't want to fight no more. I'm done. <laughs> I think I knew I was looking for the. I thought I was looking for the stone stuff, but no. Apparently, I'm looking for. The peaceful, because I knew I had one. Basically, anyone that has a peaceful whatever shield, targe, bracer, um, uh, shield, you get it. Ring. Yeah, that's basically, you don't get any encounters whatsoever. It doesn't have to be a person in your party, obviously. It counts for the whole thing. Because everybody's with you, technically. You just can't see them. They're up ahead, they left you behind. Because you're too slow. And there's more, there's puzzle elements to this, so... This is what I was doing. I was... I think I wanted to map it out first and not worry, you have to get... Um... Uh attacked every five seconds. Final Fantasy for you. Take one step, and encounter. Take another step, nothing. One more step, <laughs> encounter. I think this is where I start, um, I think I actually made up my mind where I want to bring, um, Krauser. I think I brought him to Orin's. No. Yep. No. Oh, I was checking to see if I could actually go into Orids without having to use anything else but um, simple return sphere. But Orin starts off by himself, so you have no choice but to use a sphere that, you know, lets you go somewhere without having to. Um... Oh, yeah, I, I do this. Since I have 31 now. 33. Some, huh, I didn't even finish my my original thought. My original thought was saying that you know, uh, Orin starts off alone. It's disconnected, so you have to use um certain sphere. Uh. I mean, there's the attribute sphere, sphere that lets you do that, and then there's another one. Dude, where the heck am I going? Uh... <laughs> I think I was going to walk his place because I wanted to start e fighting aerial people. I think. Yeah, that's what I did. Because since I don't ever use Waka, there's no point for me to really care where, uh, where, where else to put this guy. I mean, don't bother me not to use Waka. He misses anyways. But that's my own fault. And I'm not gonna say he sucks. He sucks because I did it to him. No one else. He's... If you... 
level them up. You most if you level them up more than Crow than your Titus, then he'd be better than mine. It's all how you play the game and how you do your characters. It's not no one is better than the other unless you make it so. I mean, they have stronger points, but eventually if you play the game enough, if you do it enough, <laughs> farm enough, then everybody most likely will probably be a bit more on the equal playing level if you make it so. But Yay, more health. I think I wanted to um have more health for him because of karma. Also feel that he was a bit low didn't have much of a much health. Which honestly he didn't really. And here's another <gasps> There we go! Our for our level four key sphere. I was wondering where I freaking got it. And it's our last one for her. So now it's all the way at the bottom. And here we go. Da 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 We have Ultima unlocked. And the best part, Kimari can now use it. So now we can move her! Now granted, Kimari's uh, Ultima is gonna be so much more weaker than Lulu's. But there's a reason why I made him choose, you know, Ultima. As you can see, he's uh, he's going down Lulu's path. Since he has magic. I don't necessarily have to do it this way. But why not? I mean, Kimari can do whatever he wants. Hell, I could actually put him in Riku's place. But again, I don't use him enough either. The way I like to do it, obviously you see what I'm doing is basically I put him in between two empty nodes. Or between nodes so I can get, you know, do it a little bit more faster. Yeah. That's how I get Ultima. Granted, there might be an easier way to do it. I mean, maybe. If you, um... Maybe... Uh, what you call it? Like, if you unlock Riku's Gillionaire and bribe a certain enemy with a certain amount of money, you can get level 4 key spheres. But I forget which... I forget which um enemy you need to bribe in order to get a level four key sphere. Now I think I do ah uh, the teleport sphere. That's what it was. Teleport sphere and attribute sphere can make you go wherever you want. Or any un node that's unlocked, I should say. Now. Either I put her in orange or I put her in Yuna's. Because I told you, I really want to make her... Uh, I think... Up oh, uh, yeah, there, you can't... Yeah, if you don't... If you don't do it right then and there, the chests disappear. So it's not really that big a deal. I was going to save it. But... Well, no point. There's Scan, all the other things. There's Yuna. Oh wait, no, okay. Any node that the character that you're using has unlocked, I believe. So that means only places Lulu's been to is where I could teleport to. Attribute Sphere is everything that is unlocked, or maybe it's unlocked and, or anywhere on the board. I'm pretty sure it's unlocked nodes, but you get them. <laughs> Where you get them is 
pretty, I don't know, at least for me, if I remember, if I don't rem I don't remember exactly if you could go back when you get the after root sphere, because that's when you go into uh, Sin and towards Frasca's final eon. Nothing happens! Why? Because we didn't find the actual glyph to activate it. Uh, this is um, part of the puzzle and part of where we gotta go. Camera angles like... <laughs> I swear the camera angles... The orientation of the camera... Camera angles mess me up, so do my own words that I try to speak, even though they're, it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um. See, we're trying to find a glyph in order to activate that thing, and then we get... Uh, we get a uh, we get a um, item. I forget what. But I think uh, in order to do that. Oh yeah, I'm saving it before I mess it up. Yeah, I think I like I uh. Oh yeah, there's no reason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I save it once before, then once on a different file. Cause I'm like, yeah, you know what? I messed it up. Who knows what's gonna happen? I do. Cause I played it. Anyways. Uh, this music. You know, I think at the same time with you know this dungeon the. The uh, random encounters help breaks up the monotonous of just him running and just going and going. There's another place of four chests that we need to. Up oh, there they are. Oh, there's another three chests. What's in chest number one? Nothing. We got an encounter. Yep, that's what happened. So I don't think they're. Random? I don't think. Don't quote me. I don't remember. It's how luck Ultima. I don't think. No yeah. pain. <laughs> Go Lulu. I think I just did it just so I could, you know, have fun with it. Cause bye, chest. <laughs> Squeaky chair, yay! And there goes the other chests. So if it's not random, you know what not to do, or what chest not to go for. Cause you know, <laughs> yeah, that. So you keep. Well, the other way, that little part is, uh, what you call it? Block. Doesn't have a, the, the, dang it, a platform. There's, hey, look, there are the chests. Now I'm just like, which one do I do? Let's do this one. A defending bracer. Okay, so we got that one done too. So there you go. I believe it's just one chest out of all of them. And it's just, <sighs> just which one you choose. You don't want to move. What I want to know is why does Titus have provoke instead of Orin? Starting off, I mean. I guess in a way, since we don't start off with a heavy hitter, tanky kind of guy. Um. You know, yeah. what you call it? He, uh, just, just, someone needs to do it. So there you go. I guess uh, that's my reasoning. I guess. 
Don't judge me, monkey. Uh, I don't remember what there were the other chests had. We'll see it in the, you know. We'll see you later. Now, if you don't know, you know, I'm just gonna say again, like, if you don't know why I'm not random encountering your peoples, there's another glyph thingy. Is because I have the peaceful ring on. There's an item that will also give you that uh, ability to customize with. So I forgot which one. Jeebus! I need to remember these things to help at least. Grrr, don't remember. I'll probably I'll I'll remember to uh, have uh, for later. I don't believe that's working either. We need to find that glyph. Glyphy glue. Glyph glyph glyph. And then we just we just did a circle in the roundabout. Well, Jesus, I don't believe it was because I didn't know where I was going. It was more the fact that I think actually that platform does move, but I don't remember right now. But anyways, is that because I was you know lost or anything? I wanted to um, map out the Omega runes. See, this is the only I believe memory is not serving me well right now. I believe. This is one of the only places where you have to map out a dungeon. Mm, there's the, the glyphy glue. The reason being is because nobody's been here. Glyph appears. One of the banners activate. The glyph goes on the wall. See, now we can open up things. The platform is now active. The other place, the other um, glyph on the wall is now be able to be activated and we can go and get our, our chesty chest chest not those obviously because they disappeared so mean no mistakes people or else the chests are gonna go bye bye hey excited how you doing Cluster, excuse me. You have different names. Doesn't matter, cause you're just the guardian, the nameless guardian. Which honestly, I figured should have been Orin, cause the way he is. But everybody knows him. Everybody knows Orin. You don't know Orin. You're wrong for not knowing Orin. Orin is the best. You know. Uh, teleport sphere. Enjoy his day. You know, people, did you, uh, how old do you think Orin is? In contrast to, you know, timeline and everything in this thing. How old do you think Orin is? I would like to know what you're, what you guess. Because, if you didn't know, I mean, when I found out, it was like, really? You sure? But yeah, you'll see. Or I'll tell you, rather. And I think, you think, you think, 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 we're up to a boss battle. I believe it so. Oh, hello. Yep. What? Hi, Ultima. Yes, this is Ultima. And the description for this guy is awesome! Ultima weapon. Give it all you've got. Yeah, nothing much more said. To be honest, Ultima weapon and Omega weapon are the pushovers considering the, of where they are. Double flares! <laughs> I don't think I bring in everybody because I didn't know my own strength. He's immune. Yeah, I didn't know my own strength. Yay, banishing blade! Oh. 
That's all you gotta say, yo? Come on. Do your little thingies. He spits on it. Got some alcohol, yo. Look at that. And swap. Dang! Got a bitch slapped like a mofo. I forgot he did that. Uh, triple foul. Um, that's what... Um, Waka learns in the end. What's triple? Yeah, what's triple foul? White man? Uh, yeah, I bring in other people. I don't think... It, you can't use it from him. You can't. What I tried to do is see if I could learn it from him, but you can't learn Nova until you meet fight Omega. That I just brought in Kimari because I wanted to level him up more. This doesn't surprise me. Confused. Oh no. The one person that is in haste. See, that's perfect. Double cast. I think I just I wrecked this dude without even knowing I was gonna wreck him. I keep telling you this. I don't know why I use Ultima, but it's still cool looking. I think I just used it for shits and giggles. Orin. Do I swap you out yet? Do I ever swap you out? No. Oh. I used it on Kimari because I think I wanted to. Yep. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, cook it. <laughs> that's what it does. Basically, you know, gives you another turn as much as possible. I believe he's immune to pretty much everything. Uh. Up oh, there it goes. Dead. Wrecked. Dead. Didn't need to even need a lot of things. That's Ultima. Pretty much if you farm this whole Omega dungeon before going to Ultima, and if you can actually hit everybody one, two, three in this place. You're pretty much cake for the rest of the freaking dungeon with um, Ultima and on. And level 3 key sphere and a space energy! That was not Omega. No. Just a shadow born from Omega's wrath. What? So the main man's still around? Come on out, Omega! I like how they wrote him into it. I will send it. I really did enjoy how they uh, implemented Omega. And I'll do your regular thing. I still gotta teleport her. Which. Prince? Let's see. Or is it any act. What? I'm a little confuzzled then. Cause she hasn't been there. Okay, so maybe I do I am wrong about tele teleport sphere. Uh, I I thinking I know it, and then I look at my actions like, oh, then it's not that one then. Obviously it is. Ugh. Alright, this is a teleport sphere. You teleport anywhere on the board that's active. Honestly, if anything, just read the description then. Because obviously, I don't remember unless I don't read the description. Don't worry, for you guys, I will read it whenever I decide to read it. Which I don't know when that will be. Maybe when I play the game again. I mean, obviously I want to play it, there's... 
I am now in Orin's path. I mean, his beginning stats is... I don't think I'll be as powerful as <laughs> by the end of this. Oh, Jeebus. I'm going backwards. I need to level up Yuna a little bit more. So I can get the rest of her white magic spells. Because we got Holy at the end. And that's not bad against, you know... Dead things. Just saying. Holy is pretty good. Especially if the magic's up there. Alright. Off we go! Alright, here is basically the encounters thing. Kind of doesn't apply, but at the same time, if you know, if you see a shadow of a fiend, you're gonna get into an encounter no matter what. I don't think you can flee from it. I think you have to fight. I've never, I rarely ever flee flee from a battle, so you, you'll, you've seen. And... Nope! Not this one. Krauser! What will you do, Krauser? Oh, yeah, since now that I can do this, I don't have to wait for Orin to just... Wreck them. All I have to do is, you know, one after the other. Double cast! <laughs> I forgot I got. <laughs> oh my god, imagine a little cactuar doing it. Just you wait. I will do it with the little cactuar. Or whatever little, little thing I have. Also, since, you know, these can't be captured, you know, regular weapons, better than the alternative. But after them, um, other monsters that are- oh shit. Oh shit! Dang, we're after you again. After, you know, if it's not- I don't think it's, uh... It repeats, but I can't say for sure. But I know all of these are random. All these encounters are here. They're random encounters! But it's not so random as, you know, when you're gonna get it. It's every platform. It's random as saying which kind of fiends will be there. Or Machina. So where I can get a Valhalla guy person, somebody else can get something else, like, um... The Monolith. Or even worse, the Malboro. Speaking of which... That part's coming up. <sighs> hey, you remember all this, this stuff that I'm doing right now? Yeah, that. Bye. Because ninety nine point nine 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 percent, that will happen. And when he does, when that happens, this happens. Bad breath. And when bad breath happens, berserk can happen. And there is no, oh, I'm gonna hit somebody else. No, that's confusion. You can smack somebody out of it. No. Because nobody had berserk proof stuff. I was screwed. And the fact that they're all blinded. Yes, I know. Not right grammar or speech. They're all blind. They're not gonna keep. They're not gonna hit them whatsoever, and they're just gonna keep missing. And then they're just. They're just gonna kill themselves. So just enjoy watching this failure until I die. 